you know, Europe is almost 10%, nine plus percent. So, so it shows an incredible resilience. And I think the different factors are uh, aerospace and defense. There is a lot of investment as you, as you know about that sector, green energy, on a green industry between code, uh, you know, all the material transformation, packaging, and also life science. Uh, we, have, we have interesting uh, evolution in that sector, Unilever uh, using our solution to improve uh, the um, uh, circularity, uh, Novartis for generative therapeutics on clinical trial, uh, and also another interesting case, which I think is a showcase of the European innovation, is uh, red electrical from space, Spain. They are investing 10 billion for grid, and they want to use what we call the virtual twin, the replica of that grid in the virtual world, to, to design, construct, and operate the grid. So uh, this, is, this is the new world for the so system. And um, it shows that the virtual twin, the replica of the real world, is useful uh, on using AI on top of it like what we do for clinical trial, what we do for generative thera therapeutics. I think it's creating for my successor, Pascal Dallos, who's going to take over uh, January 1st, is, it's, it's establishing a strong base for uh, double-digit growth over the years to come. Yeah, your operating margins, Bernard, came in at 31%, which is pretty impressive in this environment. Your long-term strategy includes acquisitions. And you said this, I think, in the past, uh, that you see acquisitions bringing in 600, 650 million euros in a bid by 2028. What is uh, the next asset that you're looking to buy, uh, and where are you shopping? I, I wish I could tell you, but I think the, uh, the, the, the strategy is very clear for the system. We have, we have decided to move from things to life, a very short summary of explaining our huge investment in life science. We think the future of generative, generative therapeutics, which is to use AI to create candidates for therapeutics, is a significant um, revolution in, in life science and healthcare. Uh, the capacity to do a virtual twin of organs, uh, brain, uh, heart, uh, you know, even uh, human cells for uh, simulation of uh, cancer propagation, for example, is also uh, making big progress. And we demonstrated that at our Science Innovation Days in Boston a few weeks ago, where we had many, many top specialists in the medical sector illustrating in concrete terms how this is changing the world. So uh, I think uh, the area of life science, the area of uh, green industry, new material science is also a big uh, evolution. And you know, you find material science in batteries, in new mobilities. So it's not about the car only, it's about energy optimization at large. So I, I think it's a, it's a great time to build the future of the industry, what we call the industry renaissance of the 21st century. And I think it has to go through a renaissance to be more sustainable. That's what we do every day.